Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 4 of season 3 of Earning My Spurs. Today we have a roundup of games for you, including a match with Bayern Munich in the Champions League, as well as some offerings from the Premier League. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Also, don't forget, I'm a member of the FM Creators community and the Passion for FM team. The link to the Discord servers is in the description. Let's get to the results, shall we? And we start with that aforementioned game against Bayern Munich. After the match with Arsenal in the last episode, link is up the top. We won by three goals to two against Bayern Munich. Let's take a look at the goals from this one. So Bayern Munich went in front on 19 minutes. Philip Coutinho with a free kick, a lovely one at that. They went 2-0 up. A mistake by Max Wuber let in Robert Lewandowski and you do not give him that amount of time and space to score number two. But the fight back began in added time at the end of the first half. And Dombele playing the ball across to Nelson Samedo who kind of ran down a blind alley to begin with. He then picked up the ball loose from the tackle, headed out by the defender, Bruno Fernandes on the edge of the box, firing it into the bottom corner to get us back in the game. We equalised from the penalty spot on 66 minutes through Harry Kane. And then we won the game in the 89th minute. Federico Chiesta with the goal. Brozovic with the ball into the middle. Chiesta with a neat little header into the bottom corner as we completed the turnaround against Bayern Munich and beat them by three goals to two. We followed that up with a comfortable win at the London Stadium by two goals to nil against West Ham. Let's take a look at it. Harry Kane has found his feet in the season. Nelson Semedo with the ball down the right, trying to get beyond his man. Blocked by the defender, Clark playing it in to Harry Kane to volley it into the net for 1-0. And Leroy Sane wrapped it up with 25 minutes to play. A good breakout from us. Sane on that right-hand side going beyond the defender before tucking it neatly beyond the goalkeeper to give us a 2-0 win at the London Stadium. We followed that one up with a 4-1 win over Aston Villa. Let's take a look at it. Sadian Buffal fired Aston Villa in front with a lovely free kick for 1-0. But it didn't last long. Harry Kane equalised from the penalty spot on 29 minutes. We made it 2-1 on 54 minutes. Sane with the ball in. Brozovic heading it on before it was tapped in by Bruno Fernandes. We made it 3-1 on 72 minutes. Leroy Sane with the ball out to Ben Chilwell. He was tackled, but Sane picked up the loose ball before he sent it across the front of goal. Chiesta sliding it at the far post for 3-1. And we wrapped the game up in the 89th minute. Bruno Fernandes with the free kick. And watch this. In to the top corner. Lovely free kick as we beat Aston Villa by four goals to one. We then travel to Sofia to take on Levski Sofia and beat them by three goals to nil. Let's take a look at this one. Took us a while to find a way through, but eventually Mario Icardi did do it. Kyle Walker with the ball down the right-hand side, swinging into the middle. Goalkeeper with the save, Icardi with the tap-in for 1-0. We doubled the lead just before half-time. Human Sun with the ball on the left-hand side, taking on the defender before cutting it back to the edge of the box. Says Harry Winks to fire it into the net for 2-0. And we wrap the game up on 64 minutes. Walker with the throw into Vasin, who sent it into the middle. Deli Ali with the shot. Bruno Fernandes sending it back with interest as we left Sofia with all three points. Then came a disappointing 1 0 defeat to Liverpool at Anfield. Joe Gomez with the only goal. Let's take a look at it. Now, to be fair to Liverpool, they have really deserved this on the balance of play, but leaving a man unmarked in the penalty area with five minutes to play is inexcusable as we lost at Anfield but finally finally we have beaten Wolverhampton Wanderers beat them by three goals to nil hat trick from Harry Kane let's take a look at it Harry Kane is officially up and running for the season and Dombele into Kane Back to Ndombele before he plays it on to Brozovic. Sent it back through to Harry Kane who rolled it into the net for 1-0. He had to wait a long time for his second goal. Bruno Fernandes with the free kick. Neat little ball over the top. Kane nodding it into the net for 2-0. And he completed his hat-trick in the 91st minute. Firing it beyond the goalkeeper for Harry Kane 3, Wolves 0. We followed that up with a comprehensive home win against Levski Sofia. 
Let's take a look at the goals from this one. Now, I said right at the start of this group that Levski Sofia would prove to be the whipping boys. Romagoli got the ball rolling on 11 minutes. We made it 2-0 on 27 minutes. Chester with the ball into Deli Alley before he fired beyond the goalkeeper for two. We made it 3-0 on 29 minutes. Sun with the ball on the left-hand side, swinging it towards the far post. There is Chester firing in for 3-0. We made it 4-0 with a Bruno Fernandes trademark free kick. Bang! Into the net for 4-0. And a big moment coming up for Yari. His first goal for Tottenham. Bruno Fernandes playing the ball to him. He plays it towards the far post. Chiesta keeps it alive, but he carries on running. Gets into the middle. Tackles the defender to make it 5-0. As we beat Lesky Sofia by five goals to nil. And all that confirms as we are through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. Four wins from four so far. We played Napoli and Bayern Munich in our last two group games to see whether we can finish top of Group A. We followed that up with a 3-1 win away at Watford. Let's take a look at the goals from this one. Well, Pedro with the opening goal for Watford. Semedo dispossessed by Will Hughes as they play it into Chuko, who sent it into the middle for Pedro to slide in for 1-0. We turned on the style in the second half as we scored three unanswered goals. Nelson Semedo with the ball on the right-hand side. Coming into the box before finding Harry Kane for 1-1. We turn the game around on 70 minutes. Leroy Sano with the ball on the left-hand side. Tackling the defender before running into the penalty area. Playing it across the front of goal. There is Harry Kane for 2-1. Leroy Sane wrapped the game up in the 92nd minute to give us a 3-1 win. Davis with the ball into him. Sane all on his own in the box. Rolling it beyond the goalkeeper as we left Vicarage Road with all three points. And last time out, it was a nervy 2-1 win over Brighton. But let's take a look at the goals from it. Now, it took a while to get going, this one. But 75 minutes on the clock before we finally made the breakthrough. Samedo with a great run into the box. Still going, playing it towards Harry Kane, who headed us in front for 1-0. But it was very short-lived. And Done with the ball on the right-hand side, playing it towards the far post. There is Bernardo heading in and then firing in to equalise in the 81st minute for Brighton. But they were to be undone in the 82nd minute by Mario Riccardi, getting in between the two defenders. Defender with a terrible ball back, and it kind of just hits Riccardi and goes in the net. They all count as we beat Brighton by two goals to one. Onto the competition screen we go. The Champions League, we are through, as I've already mentioned, 12 points from 12. So a win over Napoli should see us home in top spot, which is very important. Obviously, it will mean potentially we play an easier opponent in the round of 16 in the Premier League. It is so tight at the top of the Premier League, but we lead the way at the moment after 13 games, 33 points from 13. Then come Liverpool on 32, Manchester United on 31, Arsenal on 30. The top four separated by three points. As I said, couldn't be tighter. Then come Chelsea and Manchester City on 26 apiece. Wolves on 21. Fulham up in 8th position. Having an amazing season thus far. Down at the bottom. Where it's quite tight there as well. Sheffield United bottom on 7. Norwich second bottom on 13. Aston Villa third bottom on 9. Then come Stoke and Bournemouth on 10. West Ham on 11. And Watford on 12. So it is tight at the top and the bottom of the Premier League and it is very much a case at the moment that we need to keep winning because everybody around us is doing the same so if they get a result we need to get one as well it's put some massive amount of pressure on everybody but we are living up to the task at the moment the Liverpool result aside it's been a great episode today lots of goals flying into the net eight against Levski Sofia on their own did mention they were going to be the whipping boys and that has proved to be the case but we look like we're going to win our Champions League group which is tick absolutely we needed to do that it will hopefully give us easier opposition in the first knockout round if you enjoyed today's video please leave a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel would like to do so please hit the subscribe button down the corner don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say on today's video also, don't forget, I'm a member of the FM Creators community and the Passion for FM team. The link to the Discord server is in the description. 
that was episode four of Earning My Spurs. I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.